because I just started to do the same thing. What? <laughs> the YouTube part. Oh, you always say, I always say, you always hello. say, I love it. I started to do it just as you were doing it. That's funny. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. Welcome. 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 Hey, what's going on <laughs> in the Sketchy Live? It is Monday. Welcome to Monday, starting in your week. Hopefully, you're starting your week off right. And you're hickey, 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 with us right now on Sketchy Live on Monday. You're not. What's going on, Izzy B? I'm John um, Jalabi with me as always. My lovely wife, Izzy B. The linchpin, the lynch mob with the Dini. Lynch the, mob or the lynch mob. The person who reads comments is what I am. You're more than that. I am the Anyways, person who reads I love comments. Always, always downsizing, downturning. Downtrodden, downplaying, downplaying. I think it was one of those. <laughs> one of the I know it was down where the down boys go. One of the one of those is what you would be doing. That's okay. Yeah. That's so okay. what's going on? So hopefully uh, you're hanging out with us. You're having a good time and live. And also, if you're not live, you're watching this right now on YouTube, yeah, on YouTube. and we sure appreciate you watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and like. Share with your buddies or your friends, your pals, your whatnots. And uh, yeah, tonight, guys, what are we doing tonight? Season five. What are you drawing tonight? Yeah, <laughs> a blank <laughs> season, Lies. a season five episode tonight, episode 27. Holy cow, 27. Hey, so 27. if you're on YouTube, you've already missed 26 Six episodes. episodes this year, yeah, this year, but we have four other years. Sa yeah, what the hell was gonna say? Sands on the tube. On the tube. On the YouTube. Head over to the tube. Our good buddy Hank Dutton knocking it out, laying them down, putting them on, rocking it out. He's been he's been doing double time, mm -hmm. getting these up for us. So yeah, super excited. Um, tonight Johnny is drawing. We are visiting another cool cartoon from my childhood. You guys are your childhood the cartoon. Too. You've asked for this kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Um. So I don't know if anybody's aware of it. It was not a long-running cartoon series, but it was one of my favorites because, of course, it had the you know the trio, the Universal Best Monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman. They were depictions of because they weren't the actual characters. Right, but they were. Frankie was Frankie, Wolfman was Wolfie, and uh, the, the vampire was Drac. Anyways, <laughs> uh, it's the Groovy Ghoulies. Yes. Yes, we're going to visit the Groovy Ghoulies. So, of course, in the Groovy Ghoulies style, uh, we got to drive one of the cars from the cartoon. Now, to let you know, there were not a lot of vehicles in this show because right. they were a band. And I thought maybe they'd have a bus or something like that. I don't, I don't remember this car as a kid so much as I started doing research. Uh, I just remember how funny it was. And then the skeleton guy was funny. who was like a pirate guy. So funny. And then... Uh, the witch lady and the kids. It's just like, such good characters. The drawings were pretty decent. The artwork that was done was pretty decent. Um, so it'll be fun to go back and take a look at the Groovy Goolies. But tonight we're drawing Wolfie's wagon. Should I? Uh... Yeah, go ahead. So what I've got up here on my screen is the actual drawing from the Groovy Ghoulies cartoon. Uh, this is, you know, off of, uh, I think this is a, uh, 
someone making a mouse pad out of this, but this is the Groovy Ghoulies. And this is what the Wolfie Wagon looked like. It was basically like, like a, a skeleton or a skull head. Um, and then some teeth and some crudely drawn wheels and stuff. So we are going to <laughs> recreate that nice. in the John Jalopy style. What other style would it have been drawn? Well, I don't know. You By know. you, of course. Yeah, no it's going to be the John I have not seen style. anybody else visit this, so this will be fun to see how we do this one. It will be. So I did a pre-draw of this one because I really wanted to get the proportions right, put some right. action in it. And, of course, we're not doing an exact replica of it, but we're placing our characters are going to be in it. We've already got them. So I'm going to knock this away so you can see what we got as a pre-draw. Pretty cool. And there is our Groovy Ghoulies. And we got Drac, Frank, and, of course, the Wolfman drive-in. But we've uh, given the skull a little more skull skeleton. Ability. Skull ability. Skull ability with a little more skelly. <laughs> And we're doing some cool, fun cartoon wheels and stuff like that. And so, I noticed you flipped it in your signature side of drawing because you do try to focus mainly on the driver's side. It did not make sense to me the way they drew it, which was Wolfman driving on the left-hand side. I think maybe he's in the middle. You know? It's not a show I guess they do. They, they were. Uh, Frank Dracula was uh, Transylvania. Transylvania. Yeah. Wolfman, I think, originated in like uh, London or whatever. Maybe and Where then, are uh, the wolves are London. Yeah. yeah, and then <laughs> uh, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, <Wah -woo. laughs> yeah. Why well, he would do that too? And then Frankenstein uh, was from uh, Frank and Stein. A, a <laughs> wasn't game. he? Tra he wasn't Transylvania. No. Where he did was, that take place? Uh, Transylvania. Frankenstein. Uh, what was the setting? We might have to look that up. I, I'm blanking right now. But Crazy. It was not Transylvania. All there. I know is that wherever it was, it was black. And now, white. here's the, it was black and white. the fun thing about the Frankenstein, you know, his, yeah, it's Frankenstein's monster because Frankenstein was actually Dr. The doctor. Right. It's oh. Frankenstein's monster. So and he's taken on the, the so name. So he's of, not Frankenstein. Did I ever re, watch Frankenstein? Re, You're destroying every memory. If you go back to the original movies, it was Frankenstein's monster. I it think was Doctor Frankenstein. Doctor Frankenstein. Yeah, he didn't like go. Hey, you're. I mean, it, you know, it's alive, and you're. I guess my kid or whatever. Maybe out of Frankenstein Junior. Yeah, Frankie Jean. <laughs> but it's somewhere in our culture. It took on That's like like crazy. all soda has become Coke. Uh, Frankenstein became Frankenstein. Now again, I'm not saying I'm a Frankenstein expert. If you're telling me I'm full of shit, crap on youtube or on the comments to sheet feel free to let me know that john you're wrong correct us please you know, Johnny, we you're, live full of, you're full of poop and you're wrong but i am i feel pretty confident if you go back and you look at those first uh the books yeah. and then uh the renditions of the early movies it was frankenstein's monster you know what we are coming up on monster season yes we are we are, and we are almost into hallowed weens i want to watch the old old first yes, can please. we yeah what yes <laughs> i want to see them so excited all right okay let me tell you who's on while you get started all right, we're gonna get started and i'm gonna focus in on your screen so people can watch watch it watch, watch it, it view watch it, it look view at it, it look at why would you like accents? it like it can i don't we, know can we make sure we offend anybody else yeah. I, don't I don't know all right so we're gonna get the all right opacity of our sketchy sketch drawing down the and let's, let's get it on all right let me tell you who we got on naz malone is naz the first malone. to join us tonight what is up my brother from australia what is going welcome on? sir take a sip take a sip yeah just a choke because it was naz malone's on lizzie daughtry is joining us hello you too hope Ride you guys die. got your packages today we yes did. we did we'll be talking about that you momentarily no idea what we're going to comment about momentarily that's right we've got joe lombardo from joyzy in the house what up, joey love got the shark print today and johnny thank you so much for the special note oh absolutely thanks for the uh, you guys rock joe we we threw a couple things in there for you i don't know i if hope you, you hope you, if you them. saw yeah. Yeah, those are special um, for you. Joe Lombardo, for anyone who doesn't know, was our recent uh, Johnny Jalopy meetup. We uh, saw him when we went to Jersey over the mm -hmm. summer. Took us to De Lorenzo's. Oh, we're, we're doing so much free advertising for this place. For reals, though, right? De Lorenzo's. <laughs> it was so pizza, good, though. Free pizza would be great. So good. Oh, my God. The pizza. Guys, if you're in the Hamilton Square area of <laughs> Jersey, ah. Uh, 
you got to go and you got to bring us back some. Um, Julie Anderson joining us tonight. What a glorious summer night. What up, Jules? Blessings, my friends. Yes. We love you guys. Oh, yeah. Julie and her husband, Spud. Amazing people. Wonderful people. Love them. Love them. Um, Lizzie is posting her Facebook page and her YouTube page. Excellent. Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry or on a YouTube, she's Miss Butterfree34. Um, and I'm going to show you what Lizzie sent me because um, very, very cool. It's it's free. I almost feel like we need to talk with her about doing some Johnny Jalopy stuff because this is basically this is basically keychain type material here. We might be able to do yeah, something. Yeah, we got some. We got some. There's some potential. Yes, um, Matt Williams is joining us. Hello from the famous Potato State. <laughs> Time for one of the sketchiest shows there are. Potato, yes, potato, potato, that must be potato. Idaho. No, Utah. 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 Who you call a ho, buddy? Who you call a ho, dude? You talking about us? Why did we all of a sudden? I don't know. Why are we doing all the accents I don't tonight? Know. <laughs> James Olchin. Jimmy Olch. Joining us tonight. Good evening. Can we call you, can we call you Jimmy? Jimmy Olch. Jimmy Olch. Can I come in from Lincoln, Nebraska? Yes, sir. Coming in hot. Riding. Uh, Naz Malone said, Monday night for you guys, 11.35 a.m. here in sunny Queensland, Australia. Oh, what up, my friend? We are so blessed that you're on. Enjoy, you, your, enjoy it, your new day. I can't even fathom the fact that they're in a new day when we're not quite done with ours. It just doesn't. I mean, that's so crazy. It really, science is amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> science and time zones. Holy cow. <laughs> if we can only figure out geography. Right? We'll see. We'll see. Paul we'll Marziani see. is joining us from Bradenton, Florida. What's up, Bradenton? Sunny, Florida, a little Florida. bit south of us. Sunny flow. Lou Linder Jr. Hello from Ocean City, New Jersey. What's up, Ocean Sid? I just got a message from my uh, nephew and my brother and his the rest of his family. They're in Ocean City, Maryland, vacationing oh, right now. Really? Super fun. Yeah. Well, thanks for the invite. Sipping some uh, Bacardi's on the beach. Oh. Yeah. Is that a local drink? No, it's just what James was drinking. <laughs> I'm sure my brother was drinking some kind of craft beer. And Lisa had her wine. Um, Philip Pearson's joining us. I love the shows y'all do. Keep up the great, oh, awesome thanks. work. Thanks Thank for, you, Philip. It's we, only awesome because you come and stop by, That's right. Man. That's the only reason why we're still doing it is because people are still showing up. So we love you guys. Thank you for your support. Yeah, so if you really want to see us shut down, don't show up anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be like, what? Crickets, crickets, crickets. What Kevin happened? Johnson joining us from Hudwis. Huddy Wiss. He said he just got back from his walk. Nice. Groovy goal. This guy is probably dropping pounds. Yeah, right. Because he's out there doing the cardio. Cardio Express. Right. Um, Joe Lombardo said bubble top question mark. It kind of looked bubblish in the original drawing, but it's a skull. Yeah, I mean, it so is a skull. Skulls are bulbous. <laughs> Bubblish. Bubblish. Brown sugar. Mike Ferrucci's joining us. Good sketchy evening from Homo What's Sasa. going on? We are Homo definitely keeping it. Still gonna, we're still going to try to give nods to the original idea of it. Um, but then we're going to add a little bit of fun ski onto it. So I like our, I like the lifting and the twerking in the front end. They're twerking the jerk. Right? Now, have you noticed oh. on the I'm oh, sorry, on the original <laughs> burping? Well, there you go. <laughs> on the broadcast. Wow. Mm. You heard it here for Let me first. sip and crunch ice. Yes, yeah, sip, crunch ice, burp. Sip, crunch ice, burp. That's what we do here. Um, no, what I thought would be fun is so in the original, let's go back and we're gonna look at that original drawing one more time. Let's do that. Because I would like to point out a little a little situation, which is note that. On the original, no engine. Oh, really? Unless it's supposed to be unless in this area teeth, here, or unless the teeth are no, supposed to be. No, no. I'm assuming maybe it's behind this, but that would be right where he's sitting. So now I did see one drawing that I looked up, and it had a like a, it had like a, a hood on it at one time, and then that was gone. And hmm. it's only I only see more pictures of it like this. So we're gonna add. Some engine. We're going to add an engine on Some this. Some engine stuff. We're going to add an engine on this mother hubba. Um, Mike Ferrucci, I did want to uh, wish you again, and I don't know if we sang to you or not, but you had a birthday. 
He did. And he was out and about having fun with the fam. That's fantastic. So fantastic. Wow. All the way For around. Rich. Yes. Kevin Johnson said Bonaparte. Bone, A P A R T. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bone. Yes, that was the, the skeleton guy. Oh, was it? I believe so. That was his name, Bone. Bonaparte. Um, so I, Johnny showed me part of an episode yeah. before last week's broadcast. <laughs> um, because what were, what did we do last week? I don't even remember where we were. Ferris Bueller. Oh, Ferris Bueller was lost. No, so it had to have been the week before. We had done a different old show. No, I, I and we were talking you, about, as I was talking about doing Gro Groovy Ghoulies. Right. And I was like, I I've never seen it, whatever. So you showed me it. Yes. Was not impressed. I don't think it's something I would it have It was watched. not a great... Like the jokes were so bad. The way the people ran, ridiculous. Like I'm trying to remember. There's a joke that has to do with why. Why uh, somebody asked, like the witch asked Wolfie, "How can you not let Dracula ride in your car?" And it was so, oh, because he's a bat seat driver. Oh, jeez, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> um. So I looked it up just to find out what the premise of the show was, and it says premise. Yes. What, what was the whole deal? The adventures of the residents of a haunted boarding house for monsters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these guys were left by their families in uh, a boarding house? I don't know. They were living there with other monsters. So it wasn't just, that's why Frankenstein was hanging out with Wolfman and Dracula. They weren't all in the same area. So everybody was living in this boarding house. Okay. Almost kind of the, like Adam's family and the Munsters all living in their little place. And there I was. Thought they were family. The there Munsters was, were a family. Yes. Well, these were, they were kind of a family too. Guy. Living together. One big happy fam. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. to mention there was a normal, I believe it was like a normal blonde girl, kind of like the way they, they did with the, the uh, Munsters. Interesting. Her name, so. Interesting. Um, it's an American animated television show that had its original run Saturday mornings on CBS between 1970 and 1971, literally a year. It was rebroadcast the following season on Sunday mornings, which note who watched cartoons on Sunday mornings. We were all at church. I don't know about anybody else. I wasn't. You didn't go. No, you we were watching think. cartoons on Sunday mornings. Heck yeah, Popeye. Davy and Goliath, Gumby. Davy and Goliath, I did see on Sunday after church because it was biblical. Right, it was biblical. <laughs> um, set at a decrepit castle. Now, when I watched the show that you showed me, it didn't look that bad. It looked pretty the castle, decent. The castle. Pretty, it wasn't decrepit. I thought it was very well kept. <laughs> you know, an occasional spider web, but we'll, we'll be sure on. to pass that along yeah. to the gang <laughs> yeah, right. that we felt that you felt. You know, you hate Guys, great job. On Airbnb, I would give it a rating of. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I would say. I would say. You know, even if they told me there was, you know, a Dracula and a monster. Yeah, that's me. I'd say. The show focused on its monstrous, but good-natured and mostly friendly inhabitants. Mostly Were friendly. there bad guys? Oh, no, just, well, yeah. Was there bad guys or was it more of just a, hey, we're getting into some trouble into type some, thing? Some trouble. Trouble. Created by Filmation, Groovy Ghoulies was an original creation of the studio. Its characters would cross over with the Filmation's Archie comics adaptations, including Sabrina the Teenage Witch and the Archie Show, as well as the Looney Tunes cast. So you, there were crossover moments? I guess there were. I don't, I don't, you don't remember. I don't remember that. There were only 16 episodes. What was that, like one a month? Or was it literally only on for four months in that year? I mean, that's it's just nuts. Like, how could... As a kid, how could you follow that if it wasn't on week to week? Okay, hold on. You're assuming, you're, whoa, you're wrong. You're basing that on the way they make cartoons now, which is like a series. There's a, a, a show that leads on to another show that ends, and then it leads on to another show. That's a series. Cartoons didn't run as a series. It would be a cartoon. It would have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Sure. And then it would go on to the next cartoon, beginning, middle, end. So these were beginning, middle, end. What I'm all saying is, stories. how would you remember who the characters were? Or they're always it just up, didn't matter because they're in every episode. Because it didn't matter. The Ghoulies were a group of hip monsters, so they were hip for their well, time. They, they were a band, man. Nice, hip. They played, they played like monkey style music and stuff. Um, residing at Horrible Hall, which was a haunted boarding house for monsters on Horrible Drive. Or can they go any further with this premise? Horrible. 
<laughs> Many of the characters refer to each other as cousins. Oh. So maybe they were kind of family. Yeah, I just said that. Uh, uh, most of the ghoulies were in look and sound pop culture echoes of the classic horror film monsters created in the 30s and 40s. Right. Mostly by Universal Pictures. Uh, the shows consisted of fast cut sequences of pun filled jokes and short skits. And each right. episode included two pop songs. Yes. One performed by the monster trio, Drac, Frankie, and Wolfie, and a closing number crooned by one of the rotating roster of guest bands. So it was it was music. That's probably why you right. liked it, it like, so much, it like too. Because it was it, it was, was like filled a musical, with music. It was a yeah. musical show. Um, oh, let me tell you who else we got on. We got a few more viewers. Nice. Uh, Bob McLaren said, moving to Florida where it's cooler, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Must be hot in Jersey tonight. Um, we've got Mike Williams joining us from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tuscaloosa. Welcome, Mike. What's going Always on? a pleasure saying your name. I love that, Quilliams. What a cool man. Uh, Jim Pollan, hello, everyone, from Hobo's Hot Rod Garage in Horseheads, New York. Custom oh, bead rolling. Yes, it is. Amazing stuff. We actually have a piece that Jim did for us uh, for Johnny Jalabi. It. And it, it is, we have it proudly on display. Um, Mike Frucci said, uh, Bob McLaren, in what part? Or are you joking? <laughs> He's in he's in South Jersey, so but uh, he is probably joking. I, I can't imagine him coming to Florida. Not why to why cool, would you leave Jersey? Not to cool down. Not why would you leave Jersey when you have an established business up there? He's doing so well. Um, Joe Lombardo said Frank and Steen, <laughs> <laughs> and then Bob said he was joking. Tracy Cordville's on the broadcast. Up, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello, my beautiful people. I finally made it. I've missed you. We've missed you too, Tracy. Yeah, man. Good, good to see you. Thanks for showing up tonight. Or shorties. Kevin Johnson said Frankie played bone drums, I think, and had a dog named Rover. Frankie would get struck by lightning and say, I needed that. I needed that. Was that his voice? <laughs> He always talked very slowly. Joe Lombardo said, I did, and my grandson will love them. Always on me when you guys come up. Oh, about De Lorenzo's. Uh, yeah. Heck yes, yeah, sir. Be holding you to that. You know, we friend. come up once a year, right? At least once a year. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Pierpont is in Mineola, Texas tonight. 93 degrees in Mineola. What's up, Howard? He's a traveling guy. He's a traveling man. Um, he made a lot of money. Ugh. <laughs> Lizzie says today's her sister's birthday along with her nice. aunts. Um, rest in peace to her aunts, though. Happy birthday to your sister, Lizzie. Yeah. We love celebrating people. We do. Right? So much fun. Nice. Um, Draco said off topic, but rest in peace, Olivia Newton. -John. Yes, I was gonna make, mention that her girl, <sighs> Olivia. Which you know we did we did the grease uh, yes, drawing last year was it last year yeah it was last year, year. before I think actually but... one of the two years might have been twenty twenty might have been twenty twenty one but Johnny did uh, the, oh Sandy the grease right yeah. she was good well uh, she was great she was one of the greats loved her stuff for sure it is a terrible loss to the entertainment community tragic. Uh, Joe Lombardo said whenever the skeleton got injured, they had to take him to the bone ER. Oh, get it? Boner. Yeah. <laughs> bone ER. Um, James Ulchin said Victor Frankenstein is born in Italy. <laughs> Frankenstein to me sounds like a German name, though. Fra it's Frankenstein. Stein. How is that Italian? Raised in Geneva, Switzerland, and then goes to Ingolstadt, Germany for his studies. And that's where he creates the monster. Victor returns to Switzerland while the monster stays in Germany for a time. He left him there unattended before well, his already... wanderings also take him to Switzerland to find Victor again. So he was on a quest to he, find his father. He was already wreaking, wreaking havoc. And then Victor was like, Frankie, I am your father. <laughs> Why does he sound I like... don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Robert Frost is joining us a little late, but I'm here. Welcome, sir. What do we Welcome. think of the bone, uh, the wolf wagon? Super cool. Guys, likes and love. Smash that button if you would. If you'd be so kind as to. Right. So we can uh, 
Make sure you're digging it. So far, 21 likes and loves. So Sweet we're off to Brown. a we're off to a running start here. Sweet Georgia Brown. Um, Kevin Johnson said, You mentioned my weight loss. Since the first of the year, I've gone down two full waist sizes. Wow, my friend. I'm on my second belt because I used up every notch on it and I started a new belt and I'm down 53 pounds. So far, Congrats. I'm not done yet. That is fantastic, that is Kevin. And you know what? It's just correct me if I'm wrong, faithfulness to do what you said you were going to do, right? Just the getting out there and doing something every day with that goal in mind. So I, uh, good on you, man. Yeah. I give you a lot of credit. It's hard. I've been struggling with it my whole life and there's days I don't want to do it. I did do it today. I'm excited because I cool. made a decision yesterday that I was going to do it today. That's great. And I want to, I want to keep up with it too and drop some LBS myself. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at these characters. It says uh, Drac. He was mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. short-tempered vampire, so I'm guessing he got... Always irritated. He got annoyed quickly. It sounds like you. And he really would talk like this. I can't remember what his voice was. <laughs> He's the head of Horrible Hall. Why is he always in charge? Because Dracula is the power dude. Whatever movie or whatever show if there's a dracula in it he's, he's the guy in charge he's powerful is he supposed to be the smartest is he the best yes. educated what he, listen how does he get his prey he bites them he entices the woman in thinking that he's, he's got to get wonder, close enough to suck your blood he doesn't just like show up out of the blue and bite some girls in the neck he romances them into a, a fine something that makes them go oh no I'm going to give it up to the drag. And then he goes, <laughs> and then just bites right yeah. into the neck. I and then guess. they're all, oh, might it be. And he plays the pipe organ. Yeah. So they give him the pipe organ instead of being the drummer. Why would he be the drummer? The drummer is the heart of the bands. That's where Frank comes in, man. He plays the pipe organ in the Groovy Ghoulies that has arms where the music sheets would go. That's right. Um, at the beginning of each episode where the viewer is welcome to Horrible Hall, Drac is in his bat form. Um, he would try to fly into the window. Always fall and hit the Only ground. to crash into the wall when the window moves. Yeah. Upon crash landing, Drac would say, uh, This place is driving me batty. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Silly stuff. Frankie, he was more easygoing. See now, and I do see that about Frankie. Well, Frank style. is. He was. He was obviously abandoned by his father. I don't want any trouble. He just wanted people to like him. I. I always liked Frankenstein. I always thought he was the nicest guy, and that's why he was the only guy that got married. Like, look at even in even in uh, the monsters. He was my favorite on there. He was just, he was always emotional and he was well, just such a big Well, then what's amazing is then he goes to college and becomes a, a lawyer and then does law for a while and becomes a <laughs> judge. <laughs> Next <laughs> thing you know, he's a judge in Alabama and this little Italian guy shows up to his courtroom and starts talking about the youths. The youths. And he's not happy about it. And he don't know how to make grits. No. Um, so he was the easygoing. What'd you say? Youths. The next time you show up in my courtroom, you dress loyally. Youths. <laughs> you meant that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Frankie was the easygoing monster who headed the Muscle Liam Gymnasium. Muscle Liam. So he was the guy pumping the iron, That's I guess. Right. Um, he plays the bone xylophone slash drums in the Groovy Ghoulies often would be zapped by lightning, revealing his inner mechanical workings, and then remarking, I needed that. Frankie also has a dual identity as the inept superhero, Super Ghoul. Mm -hmm. Really? So yeah. he was doing a dual part. They, had, they would do adventures. Okay. It was great. Rover was Frankie's pet, a uh, sauropod-type dinosaur. Okay. Which that kind of didn't make sense to me. Why a dinosaur would be in it? Yeah, I don't get it. That was one of hey, we one of the crossover things. Hey, we were, that were kids. We were about. like, uh, whatever. One of the crossovers. I guess this makes sense. Wolfie was the hippie, a hippie werewolf. Yeah, man. That speaks in a combination of beatnik surfer and hippie slang. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's Yahoo! nuts. That's how you do a lot of that. 
Wolfie plays a lyre like stringed instrument in the Groovy Ghoulies and is always seen wearing a t shirt, shorts, and beach sandals. That's right. So he was the, um, ah, uh, the surf bum dude. What's the guy's name? Spicoli. Sean Pet. Yeah. <laughs> Sean he was Pet. the Spicoli of the gang. <laughs> That's why I drove the wolf wagon. Wolfie is always going out. Wolfie is always out for a good time, like running wild, surfing, or driving his wolf wagon. He especially gets on Drax nerves. I could see that. I could totally see that. Fido was Wolfie's pet piranha that ate anything and could fly when necessary. Yeah. Well, interesting. Hagatha. I love Hagatha. So Hagatha is a crossover. You think that it's not the same. I want to say it is. It's not. A if you look at which he served as the resident chef. Yes. If you look at the characters, there's a lot of similarities, but it's not the same. Babe, witch. No, she also has a living room or I'm sorry, a living broom named broom Hilda. It's the same no. from the Bugs Bunny <laughs> show. Cause they did say that it was crossover to Looney Tunes. I'm going to guarantee you this Hagatha was the same. I guess. And if our friends Terry and Mike are watching, Hagatha haunts their back porch. It does. <laughs> That's so funny. This is where I got it from, Hagatha. Um, Bella Lagosley, a female vampire who works as Horrible Hall switchboard operator. Is that the woman you were talking about? Yeah, Bella Lagosi. Bella Lagosley. Now, Bella Lagosi was the actual name of the dude that played the original Dracula. Okay. Just to throw that out there. Just an FYI, a little tidbit little of tidbit, little tid, knowledge. Little tid, little bit. Little, little tidbit. tidbit. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, they were in this? Um, it was a two-headed yeah. resident doctor who often fought as to which one of them was Jekyll and or Hyde. The right head <laughs> is a normal human doctor, while the left head is a green-skinned monster doctor. As a result, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde have their own second opinion. Silly. So silly. <laughs> mummy. I see. I think Mummy would have been my favorite. You know, Probably. I love mummies. He's pretty cool. I love ghosts too. Um, a bandage mummy who dabbles in first aid. Mummy serves as the newsman for the mummy's wrap up newscasts. He would often become unraveled. Aww. I probably would love Mummy. He's not in this. Did you put Mummy in this? No. Darn it. Hauntleroy. Oh, I'm sorry. Ratso and Batso. Ratso and Batso. Those are the little pain in the ass little kids. Two fanged imp-like brats with a penchant for coming up with plans for swiping treats as well uh, as well playing mean practical jokes that often backfired on them. So what were they? It says brats. Uh, are they bats? Of, one was kind of a Dracula guy and another one was kind of just a regular monster looking dude. Huh. Okay. If I remember right. Um, Hauntleroy, a rotund, conniving, selfish, and two-faced kid in a sailor suit. Yeah, he was kind of, that's the one you were like, is that guy? Uh... Who was often the primary foil for Ratso's and Batso's tricks. He's the nephew of Hagatha. Mm -hmm. okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, they didn't really like him too much. Icky and Goo. They were two gargoyle-like creatures that seemed to be the main pets of Horrible Hall. Icky is a blue gargoyle-like creature, while Goo is a red one. Hmm silliness all right let me get to the comments because we had a few here i'll get you caught up uh matt williams is commenting uh sad about olivia she was my crush when i first watched greece i always imagined finding a girl on the beach like danny zuko did been thinking about drawing the pink lady studebaker in honor of her oh that would be cool yeah that's a good one yeah we didn't do that one what uh you did grease lightning no well Would'd yes you? yeah i did it before the uh makeover before they did the end scene so it's the it's the one that he drove it uh at the uh i can't think of it, the damn name of the place the race yeah but it was a, it was a special name for that place oh um it was like the wash yeah but what was it called i it was, don't remember um, oh my goodness all it, sullivan's wash no it wasn't <laughs> <end scene. laughs> not even close i know Something, something row, race row. Road. It was Thunder Road. Thunder. No, it wasn't. Yes, it. it was. Was it? Yes. All right. Way before your moron wrote the a song Springsteen about it. The Springsteen song, whatever. All right. Kevin Johnson said, thanks. I hope this time it sticks. It's not easy. No, it is not, sir. And we applaud you for sure. Mm, it's not easy at all. 
Uh, Tracy said, I need both knees replaced and it's painful to walk, but the Eesh. doctor right out said, you need to get out and walk so you can lose weight. I told him if he, if he does my knees, I'll be glad to get out and walk. Yeah. It's not easy guys. Not easy. It's not easy being green. Joe Lombardo said the pipe organ. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, James Ultron said, great pick so far. If you stop right now and look at it, it's a very serious car. Yeah. That looks really good. Um, Julie said, Victor's family was from Geneva, but were in Italy when he was born. Okay. So he was born there, not necessarily Italian by descent. Um, Maddie Bunce is joining us. Hello, everyone. Hope all is well tonight. Matt Buntus. Buntus, welcome, sir. Oh, these guys in the car are shaping up real well, too. Good job. Um, Kevin Johnson said, I miss these old Saturday morning cartoons so much. I watch them all. Yeah, I would imagine uh, the boys did. Again, this wasn't something I watched. I, I don't remember this at all. Like, not even a, a vague memory of it. Although I was born in 71. So this was really technically. Yeah, that makes it tough because a lot of cartoons that I watched, you know, you were. You're only two years older than I me. I know, but you're just not as. You were just so much further advanced in your more advanced. television watching I skills. Was. And you probably had parents that let you watch TV. We've been through this. My dad ruled that TV. We had one in the house. That's it. Heather Myers is joining us. Hello. How are you guys What's doing? Um, on, hello to you, Heather, and the rest of the Myers crew. How is your husband? Uh, James Myers uh, had some medical issues going on. Yeah. It was in the hospital for a bit. I so think he's home well. now. We are praying for you guys and your situation for his strength, his wholeness, his healing, and that uh, you guys can get back to normal. You know, the Myers, for anyone who doesn't know, their house is a little different than than most of us. They live on a farm and have a ton of work to do. Thankfully, they have a ton of kids that help. Yeah. <laughs> they get everybody involved. I can't imagine taking care of uh, all the all those responsibilities for the animals. So that it, on top of kids going to school or homeschooling, whatever they're de deciding to do, so much work. So, and then and then their their main guys down right now. So. Yeah. Sending those healing vibes to you. I'm um, Shaggy LeBlanc is joining us. Welcome, sir. Mr. LeBlanc. Shaggy LeBlanc. Uh, Matt Williams said Thunder Road. You are correct. Joe Lombardo said Thunder Road Race. Uh, Joe Lombardo said it's almost Red Baronish. Kind of, right? The car? Yeah, if, oh. you, if you take out the, the monsters. Sure. <laughs> Kevin Johnson said, does anybody remember the cartoon Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch? Absolutely. That will be coming soon. <laughs> Draco said, kind of, sort of. Huh. Never heard of it. Was this a Saturday morning thing as well? Also, and all of it was Saturday morning. Well, maybe Johnny will do it. You'll have to stay it's tuned coming. for that. It's coming. It's coming. It's on the list. On the list. We can only do so many drawings. <laughs> You know, I save a lot of it. Like, oh my goodness, I got to save this for Monday. Tiny Tomb was a dimin dim diminutive, long-haired mummy with a high-pitched voice. He's the cousin of Mummy and the lead singer of the Mummies and the Puppies. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Missy was an enigmatic, mummified spook whose long pink hair hides her face and body except for one large blue eye. She's Tiny's wife and a member of the Mummies and the Puppies. Okay. So there's a there's a married couple here. Didn't realize. That's nice. Mama Casket, a plump green mummy who is a member of the Mummies and the Puppies. Mummy Casket instead of Mama Cass. Um, Orville, a large thing-eating plant. Mm -hmm. I think there's a thing-eating plant pretty much in every... Sure. In every scary movie, right? Yeah. The spooku clock, a cuckoo clock that has a vulture coming out of it, that I could see. The asket casket, a talking casket that answers any questions given to it. Why can't we have that now? We do. Siri. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lovesick love seat, a living love seat that especially has a crush on Drac. 
How's our comments? We're, we're not getting many. Nope. Okay. We, had, we had a couple. We had a couple. Well, this one is coming along. So if you have any questions, yeah, please feel free to comment. About comment. What's going on. This one's coming out pretty cool. So again, yeah, kind of bubble toppy, kind of uh, what's the um, I'll pause here. A little um, red baronish in design. Can't go wrong with it. The design. No. Do you have a color scheme picked out? Are you going to try and stick to the ridge? Uh, probably the ridge. Okay. I mean, that'll be the easiest way to do it. Um, the skelevator was an elevator shaped like a large human skull. So there's another skull. Yeah, there there was a phone that was like a skeleton head too. Um, that would answer like the talk. And then um, I'm trying to think what else. Hmm. Well, again, everything was it, a play on ghoulish. Yeah, things. It, it didn't run for very long, so they <clears> really. They they really didn't have to implement too many ideas, is what you're saying. Yeah, they were pretty uh, <laughs> safe. Some of the musical groups, these are cute. The Bare Bones Band, the Mummies and the Puppies, Mummies the Rolling the... Headstones, right, and the Spirits of 76. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Matt Bond said, had my knee replaced and I was walking three hours later. Wish I did both knees at the same time and wish I did it earlier. I know, Matt. You were you were out of Trooper. commission for a little bit. Trooper. For a little bit. Super trooper. Uh, Mike Ferrucci said that his wife has to get hers done. Um, Kevin Johnson said tonight's sketch is looking great. Thank you for the feedback, guys. Just making sure you're still here with us, tuned in and having fun. Yeah. Um, Julie said, I must have played outside more than you guys. I watched Looney Tunes, but that was about it on Saturday mornings. This is what I'm saying. I'm with you. I, guess. I, I don't remember these. I have no recollection of these. So, so I don't know crazy. if it was maybe more geared to guys. I don't I know. Guess. I don't know what I was watching. I guess it's sad that I, I didn't, uh, but I maybe I watched too much TV as a kid. And well, it's all my mom's fault. And you, and you lived in California where it was California. beautiful every day. You should have been outside at the crack yeah. of dawn. Outside all the time. Um, Heather Myers says, thank you. He had a hundred percent blockage and had a stent placed Eesh. August 1st and then con and then contracted COVID. Oh. Ah. He is very, very tired. We are doing okay. Kids got scared, but they are okay. Good. Thanks. Sketch looks great. Love to all of you. I'm sure um, Elvis is having to be the man in the house right now. Well, she's got, you know, yeah. So. Well, our, our prayers and thoughts are with you guys. So For sure. Uh, Joe Lombardo said, have you, have you uh, done the Beverly Hillbillies truck? Uh, no, that is also on the list. We, we got to a point where I was like, I think I wonder if people are getting sick and tired of all the movie car stuff and TV car stuff. And then uh, here we are, a whole doing it again. Well, you're kind of doing it, but not really, because these are this is your spin on stuff. You're not replicating. That's the, the fun cars. part is I'm not trying to do on this, but like the cartoon ones, I've been trying to do it more along the lines of, um, you know, like we did the uh, Hong Kong Fui Mobile. That was more my take on right on that. So this is another one where I'm doing my spin on this. Literally spinning it. And then it'll be fun to see how many people, you know, get the urge to want to visit it as well. It'll be fun. Right. It's going to be fun. Frank Pupello is joining us. He says tonight's sketchy is off the chain. Off Frank, the are, chain. are you a fan of the groovy ghoulies? He must be. He must be. Come on, he's not. Uh, Matt Bunn said, Itty B, if you were thinking of my foot, my knee was before we knew each other. Oh, yeah. I am thinking of your foot. Jeez. Well, you've been through hell and back from the, the waist down, huh? The ringer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Through oh, the ringer. Man. So, um, yeah, as far as this, this show goes, in such a small time period it seems like they did accomplish quite a bit yeah i mean for yeah not being around for very long it's pretty crazy though right it says here um that the lyrics were reworked and re-recorded uh and an additional song from the series chickaboom don't you just love it <laughs> I was thinking it was, do you remember in the mask when he sang that song and it was chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. Sure. You don't remember that? I, I said, wonder if yeah, it's the same song. It's not. Oh. 
<laughs> you're just doing. I what, love that. You're song. doing the classic Beth move, which is where it's. I'm assuming. Assuming a whole lot of stuff <laughs> based on oh no information. My gosh. There were a couple different versions of this too. There was an American version, a French version, of and the this show of the songs. Oh. And the French title was Le Croix Monstres. <laughs> and then there was also a Czechoslovakian version. Really? Uh-huh. Huh. Bubusu one and two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is crazy. That is nuts. Yeah. So it's uh again, you know, you you really don't think much about these cartoons like i know tom and jerry was i mean they're still playing that that's just a classic cartoon i think anybody who grew up in our day and time would know who that was sure and it's kind of timeless like the the little antics and the situations they got themselves into it's something that you could play for kids today and it would still be entertaining okay i don't know i uh -huh. I never really thought about it before, like how much time and effort went into it. I don't even know how long Tom and Jerry ran. Look like up. as a, I'm I'll going bet to, you as a series, Tom it's and Jerry. not as long as you think it is. I know. And that's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Um, its end date was 1994. Let me see. Well, I don't know. Because where is the, here it is. So it was a series of short films created in 1940. Um, let's see. Produced by Starry Music. Release dates. So February of 1940 to September 8th of 1967. 27 years it was on. A hundred and okay. In its original run, they produced 114 Tom and Jerry shorts. So that's the thing right. with them. They were they were only like little seven to ten minutes well all these were the same they weren't they, that you, it wasn't a whole half hour episode no they oh. were a little teeny that's what i'm saying it might have been a half hour show but it was probably oh, okay. five cartoons in that half hour little different stories that's what i'm saying it was a middle you know a beginning and ending or a middle and an ending and then they go on to the next one and i was there doing this adventure hmm. okay and yeah, there were probably three four minutes max Really? Yeah. Well, so that's Think of how the attention span. That's of a kid. I was just gonna say that's how it held the attention span. Um, Matt Williams said, "I'd like to see you do the seventy-eight Ford pickup from Urban Cowboy." Ooh, okay. Put that in the library. Uh, Joe Lombardo said, "Hey, why not do one of your own creations and put it out there? Maybe some dude will see it and want to build it. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm glad I thought of it. If Sketch that, is awesome. If Love that, it. If that only would happen." <laughs> That it, kind of it's stuff, already happened. That stuff doesn't happen. It does happen. No, it and doesn't. it did happen. Nobody does that. And yes, there's a possibility of it happening again. Um, Is there? Yeah. Even though you're watching us do this stuff on Monday nights, I will redirect you to the website um, that Hank Dutton has so graciously created for us because it's amazing over there. Well, he didn't graciously do it. <laughs> I guess he did. I'm not saying that he didn't have kindness and grace in his heart but you know let's you he's know. so wonderfully and professionally it's not like he was us. like hey let me do you a favor and <laughs> yeah he didn't it, yeah he has done a favor I've done a lot. he didn't I'm have not to take saying it on that. he did us a favor by taking us on as a client i'm saying anyway we are clients of his over at johnny Jalabi overjoyed with the amount of work and <clears throat> effort that the guys put in it definitely has made it worth our investment yes um and he, i would recommend i would recommend it to anybody who's a looking thousand at something times. like that done because it is worth the investment having this guy to work with so yes and he's been great absolutely um but what i was getting at was that over at the website there are hundreds of out of the brain johnny creations out of the brain over there out of the brain i don't know is that a term out of brain yeah hmm. oob Okay. Oob, the oob creation. It's a new, it's a new, it's a new, it's a new category. <laughs> it is a new category of creation. Um, tons of those over on the website though, in our standard prints album or um, original prints album. There are There's a even prince just, album? yes. Prince? Prince. <laughs> Purple rain. 
Um, so definitely go check that out. Is that a no? <clears throat> there's no purple rain. Okay. Go check it out though, because there are <laughs> a ton of designs from You're Johnny's head. Me off, whatever. Um, Lizzie said Stephen watches Tom and Jerry every day. Yes, I would too. Um, Draco said maybe a famous custom builder will do it. That'd be and that cool, is possible. Right? Guys, I want to show you right now. This is um, this is Lizzie's time. I want to show you what she made me. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. I'm going to put it in front of my computer here so you can see it. Um, she did put some holders in here to make this as a necklace. But I will tell you, it is, it is too heavy for me to wear on my neck. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see how thick this is. This is the resin that she did. This is an IB or Itty B heart. And I will probably wind up hanging this in my Jeep uh, because it's going to be, it's just too heavy. But Came cool. the, the quality of how this is done, I don't know. Can you show this so they can see it maybe a little bit closer up? Um, the quality of it, the thickness of it, the durability of it, and then the way she can customize these things, super cool. Can you see that? It's in resin. Once you go to a one shot oh, instead of being a... Sorry, you're right. There it is. It's sliding down the screen. Super cool, though. Yeah, it's ginormous. It is ginormous. It's like the size of Johnny's to, hand. Hard to see it. Yeah, it is. But there, they got it there. Look at that. Super cool. Came out awesome. And apparently, she's embedding, I don't know what this material is inside of this, how she did the I and the B, but it she could probably put anything in here. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, she was doing, I know, coasters. Um, she does smaller pieces like for jewelry. Oh, the coasters. Um, I love it. So I'm I'm definitely gonna put it in my Jeep or I'm gonna display it somewhere where it can be displayed. But yes, it is super cool. So thank you again, Lizzie, for sending that. Yeah, really neat. Um, Lizzie said it is big letters. Yes, <laughs> they are <laughs> big. pretty big. It's pretty big. Um, but yeah, cool stuff. Very we, easy to see. We just, we have so many super talented people. Yes, we do. Supporting us and that we want to support. We've already talked to Hank about um, creating a space on the our uh, website for links to everybody's creative stuff. Um, and I, I hope I didn't leave anybody out. I, I tried to think through everybody. If you don't see yourself on there, make sure you send reach your, out. So send we want to get you on and there we'll and how we can get a hold of you. So if you have YouTube, we'll do that link. If you just have a Facebook page, we'll do that link. If you have a website, great. If you have an Instagram, great. Whatever it is. So um, he's trying to do this so that the link is clickable and it will take you to how to get a hold of that person. But we want we want a central place for all of you to be able to go you know, say somebody wants to get a hold of Lizzie and forgets, you know, what her information is. They could just go to this page on our website and know that, you know, it's a, this is somebody that we're we're helping and they and supporting uh, and not just supporting, yeah. not helping. Well, we're not we're helping by providing a, a resource for you. So that's what we want to do. So that's coming. That is in the works. We have a couple other fun things in the works. Yeah, um, you got to get some stuff going. It's yeah. I think Johnny is almost done with uh, my T-shirt design for the Itty Bean line. Oh my goodness, it looks cool. It really does look cool. Yeah, um, I forgot. I totally forgot about a logo on the front. So that's really what's held it up. I mm -hmm. think you were fine tuning the design, and then we just had to come up with some kind of creative logo, which I may want to adjust a little bit. But I, I like where you're going with it. Yeah. So just some fun things. We're trying to be a little bit more invested in what we're doing over here so we can provide more stuff, better stuff, and stuff. broader stuff. I'm excited. Broader. 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 It's a marauder, marauder. All right. Some shadows down now. We are at 54 minutes. Okay, we're trucking along. Yeah. It's coming along good. I'm I'm really all out of trivia because this show didn't have a whole lot to yeah, it. So let's talk about uh let's talk about the recent movies we went and saw, not without yes. spoiler alerting, because we, we definitely are seeing some trends going on with movies going and coming out. And if you've yes. been to the movies lately, you know, maybe you've been seeing some stuff that you like and you know, we're not gonna try to spoil it for you, but we saw a few films and we really like them and had a good time watching them. 
and then some stuff we uh, watched on some Netflix uh, that we hadn't seen. Maybe you have haven't seen it, or maybe you have it. We could talk about because uh, the movie we just watched last night is something that's been out since two thousand one. And we hadn't even seen it. Was it? it. Yeah. Oh. I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure it's been out for a while. Yeah. Well, we had gone to see um, in the movies the other day. And what's the name of it? Bullet Train. Oh, that's right. Bullet Train. And I was, I was, <laughs> I'm like, what the heck what was the name of it again? What did we see? I was going to sure. say Speed Train. I don't yeah, know why. Speed Train. Um, train, to, train to Clarksville. One of those. Bullet Train. Very well done. Um, if you, you know, you can see the review or not the reviews, but the trailer and you know, it's a little bit gory and bloody. So that's to be expected. Yeah, but was really I was good. pleasantly surprised at how, how funny it was too. I laughed. Yeah, there was good, <laughs> Maybe it wasn't good, supposed to be funny. Good funny moments. In yeah. As well. yeah sure. I, th I thought it was very well, well written. And what I liked about it is um, like, say there was a scene and people were talking with like just zoom in on somebody's hand for no reason. Like, do you remember seeing that? Like they would zoom in on somebody's purse and the purse had nothing to do with anything else. Or they'd zoom in on somebody's um, hand they, placement. They, they had everything to do with stuff that you were probably just not paying attention. Maybe, to. <laughs> maybe that's what it was. It felt almost, it felt to me almost so funny. You're like, it didn't really make sense to me. <laughs> it didn't. It felt to it me a almost pivotal. a little Tarantino like, like the weird yeah. angle, like uh, video angles and the picture views and stuff were just weird. But it was it was really cool. It was well done, and uh, and and then just the collab of people, yeah, the actors that were in it, I thought was interesting. It was a very cool. We had also watched. Um, we don't want to give away. Uh, no, the the spoilers. Yeah. Um, what did we just watch last night? Uh, don't look up. Right. Is it don't look up. Don't look up. Is that the name of it? Yes. And you said it came out. It was in twenty twenty one. Yeah. It's twenty twenty two, babe. Right. So it came out last year. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. And I, I want to say it was Kate Blanchett. <laughs> well, uh, and Meryl yes, Streep. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Oh. Really, uh, super interesting film about the world ending. Has anybody seen it? Has anybody seen it? Um, let's see. Kevin Johnson said, all the characters are great, but you freaking nailed Drac. I know. Isn't he cute? He is cute. He looks like a little little old man with no teeth in. He probably only has the, the two teeth. <laughs> um, Lizzie said, Christmas is coming up, so think about it. Right, she's she's working deals behind the scenes here, so <laughs> good deal, Lizzie. Um, working deals. Joe Lombardo said your version of this ride is over the top, solid, right? He's got he's got some good ideas. If only he really it would be does, right? Lizzie said new screensaver. Um, you're gonna want to keep this on the back burner too because uh, it'll be screensaver in another couple months once we get into ghouly season. The ghoulish. Um, yeah, so anybody has anybody seen the movie? Don't look up. I was, do you feel like it was controversial? Uh, again, what I, you know, yeah, it was definitely a political movie because it's it's talking about it was for sure the decisions of the president, so, uh, which wound up being Meryl Streep, actually. It was a little, yeah, but uh, yeah, but it was it was just. Crazy. It reminded me of uh, Armageddon because if you remember in Armageddon, there is a meteor or something heading to Earth and they had right. to do a mission to go up and yeah, shoot it. You know what the problem with that movie was? What? Ben Affleck. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't get me started. Jeez. Do you want me to tell you what the real problem with that movie was? What? Ben Affleck. Anyways. Wasn't that one? Isn't that the one he's in? I thought Steven Tyler was in it. <laughs> no, it was Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. And it was Ben Affleck? I think it might have been. Yeah, yeah, it was Ben Affleck. Benny Affleck. Anyways, so the premise of that movie is similar to what they were trying to do in this movie. 
Um, but yeah, with but a more different in a way, funnier way. It was, it was, it wasn't a comedy. I didn't think it was funny at all. Okay. You mm -hmm. thought it was funny? Do you remember laughing? Yeah. I don't remember laughing. I cried and laughed. I cried. I didn't cry. I wept. Um, but it was, it, and Jennifer Lawrence was in it. That's right. Jennifer she, Lawrence. Jay, she was in yeah, Jay Lawrence. Jay Loa. It's Jay Loa, not Jay Lo. Right. Jay, Jay Loa. Loa. Jenny La. La La. Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> Anyways, what, what did you just do? It was a weird movie. I know, but what did you just do? <laughs> I said, Lord and Lord. Oh, you were trying. Nobody knows that reference. I know, just us. <laughs> I was trying to make you laugh, <laughs> and I didn't do it. No, right. I was like, I was like, what the hell are you doing? So you do it. How's it supposed to be done? Lord and Lord and Lord. If only I Lord and Lord. <laughs> And I said, la -da -la. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anywho. La -da -la. Weird movie. So if you haven't seen it, kind of watch it because it, it was pretty good. And then a few nights ago, we watched, I, I don't remember the names. Jesus. <laughs> you don't remember. Some kind of jungle thing. What was it? Something Paradise? Lost City. Lost City, it was called. You don't even know what it was called. <laughs> what was it called? Lost City? Sandra Bullock. Sandy Bull. Channing Tatum. Channing Tate. It was pretty good. That yeah, was all right. I liked it. You it was like, almost like a new you, wave. It was like a new wave. Like the fact that they you got a full-on butt shot of Channing Tatum. Not gonna lie, it wasn't bad. That's what I'm saying. Don't <laughs> pretend it was kind of a new wave romancing the stone. No, it don't even do that. It was kind of a new wave Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is why we need to do a movie because <laughs> it would be totally Cisco Ebert. And I'd be like, What are you talking? Why are you using that as a reference? That's you don't need one totally of those. Undermines the, the, the quality of the movie. No. It was what? how? How not? Do you remember Romancing the Stone? Absolutely. One they of my were on a movies. quest. One of my favorite movies. Okay. They were on a quest and wound up hating each the other rover. in the beginning. What were the name of the characters? Do you even know? No. You don't, you don't know. The Roses. I don't know. The Roses. <laughs> you don't remember War of the Roses? Of course I remember War <laughs> of the Roses. <laughs> Oh, that movie was great. Kevin Johnson said Tatum plays the perfect idiot, and Sandra's comedic timing is so great. She's she's freaking awesome. She really she's is. She's a comedy dynamo, her, man. Her comedy, her uh, physical comedy is oh, so it's funny. Great. It's great. So funny. We were just talking about that, where I'm like, you know, that she was great in that. She was also great in um, Two Weeks Notice. So funny in that. Her, it, her and you were like, what? What movie was that? I saw it. Her levels of exasperation always get me. Like she's always so like shaken up by stuff right. or I don't know. She's just I was like, great. girl, her levels of exasperation, she's so exasperated. Exasperated, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. So we watched that one. Um, and then what was the movie we went to go see last week? Wasn't Jurassic Park. Although we did see that, liked that, loved that. What else did we was love it? it? What else did we just go see? Was it Jurassic? What did you see, buddy? What did you <laughs> we see? we literally just went to the movies twice in the last couple of weeks. Jurassic Park. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What else? There was something else. Something about Mary. No. Jurassic Park. All right. Well, we've seen a couple movies. It was it's and it actually was weird to be back in the theater because oh, I love it. that was our place, man. Our first movie back was um the new Top Gun. Yes, it was Top Gun. So that's what it was. It was Top Gun, then Jurassic Park, and then this bullet train. Um, I almost said money train that time. <laughs> How many different trains are there? <laughs> Um, so many trains, so many things to do. Yeah, so being back in the theater, though, was weird. And there are many theaters around us that are 
where you got to call ahead and reserve your seat. Gotta call in. Which is fine if you're planning it, but we are spontaneous people. We are spontaneous. And I mean, like we would literally go to dinner, run around Target, and then he'd look at the time and be like, huh, I wonder what's playing. And then we would just head over there yeah. and just whatever was within a half hour of us arriving, we'd go see, remember? Yeah, we didn't anymore. have a plan. We'd watch anything. And then the pandemic hit. We hadn't been to a theater. And then, like I said, Top Gun was our first one back. And we wound up because, again, every place you had to reserve your seat. I didn't want to do that. There's a place near us in Palm Harbor, Florida, that you do not have to do that. It's a smaller theater, probably not as nice, probably not as many concessions. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks for the <laughs> support. Kudos on that. They're saying over there. At the yeah, I know. Movie Co. Right. <laughs> Bob Harbor movie go. We sure AD. appreciate your patronage. Thanks for totally downgrading what we are. I think I forgot the year. But nonetheless, we have gone back. And here's what I'll tell you: two tickets to paradise. Giant, <laughs> giant popcorn and a giant drink. Thirty bucks. Huh. It was cheap. Last time I saw you paid was free. It was free for me. <laughs> what I'm <laughs> saying is. I'm like, oh. From a price perspective, those those reserve your seat now tickets are like eighteen dollars I mean, a piece. We did like when we first started going, it was like, oh, this is. I like, would fall asleep. You don't remember me falling asleep? Of course, I remember you falling. You asleep. You reclined back. You're like in a sleeping position. I was exhausted I at the end of the day. I would think to myself, well, that was a waste of money. Exactly. I can't tell you how many movies I slept I can't through. Tell you. We, I can, I can Pineapple tell. Express slept through that. Yeah, I did. still have this day never seen that movie. Slept through it. We both slept through. Uh, what did we both sleep through? <laughs> <laughs> the two of us. Well, like, I would I not. Mean, I would hit you. You'd wake up. Oh, I wasn't sleeping. And then a few minutes later, you hit me. <laughs> what was sleep? that? Um, it was like a total dud. We. I don't, and I don't know if we've ever seen the movie. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, so what funny. Was it? What was it? I don't know. Kevin Johnson said our family loved the theater. We never went as kids. I, I went and saw a few movies on my own as a teenager. And then I never went to movies. We just watched stuff we, at home for years no. till I met you. Well, your dad was probably stealing movies. So, <laughs> well, we had HBO. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Via foil. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you were watching Bond. aluminum foil was his best friend. You were watching Bond uh, movies every ten, every every night. Every Either that night. or Playboy. The yeah. Playboy channel would be on. Or some uh, aerobics. I remember tiptoeing down the stairs one of those nights, and I'd be like, "Dad, what are you? What is this? What are you watching? God, I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ass beat that time. <sighs> Clearly, you don't know the arts. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Williams said, one time I was in Vegas and went to Planet Hollywood Casino. Had I went the next night, I would have seen Ben Affleck filming a movie. Oh. Sorry about that. The chances. Um, Lizzie said, last time we went to the theater, we saw Toy Story 4. Gosh. Oh, nice. How many years ago was that? Or was that just a couple of years ago? Might have been right pre-pandemic, maybe. Uh, Mike Fruji said, I fell asleep during the searching of Bobby Fisher. Spoiler alert, it wasn't an action movie. <laughs> what the heck is the searching of Bobby Fisher? Oh, that's a good one. What? Who's it? Bobby Fisher. <laughs> what whole, was the premise? The they searched thing. for him. They did. They searched. They searched and searched. Good old Bobby. He was a hell of a... He, he really kept him... Really like, kept him on their toes, that Bobby. He really, he really didn't know where he was going to be, old fish. He was weaving and bobbing. Bobbing, weaving. weaving. <laughs> Draco, Draco goes, ah, Playboy. Yeah. Like you could just see him leaning back in his chair, thinking about it. Look at those hooters. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Guys, what are you thinking about this design? Look at him. Oh, Frankie's cute. Did he have ears? <laughs> He did. How did else somebody hear? I don't remember seeing ears on him. I thought it was just a flat, flat head. I don't remember ears. He had ears. No look. And bolts. Frankenstein cartoon picture. 
Frankenstein cartoon picture. Frankenstein. Oh, he did have ears. Frankenstein. Well, picture. see, he didn't. Look at this one. No ears. This one he did. Most of them he has ears. That's a cartoon. Go to the real Frankenstein. Obviously, the real Frankenstein had ears. It was an actor oh, playing it. Oh, my goodness. It. They can't take ears off a human being. So why would you think he wouldn't have ears? I don't remember seeing <laughs> them. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kevin Johnson said he has ears. Bob McLaren said he had Bluetooth hearing bolts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike oh, Frucci said Bobby me. Fisher was a champion chess player. See, I wouldn't have thought it would have been a riveting movie based on chess, but we did watch The Queen's Gambit, which I didn't think I would like. Yeah, you weren't going to watch it. But loved. And I hear they're coming out with a second season. Did oh, you hear this? Oh, no, that's great. I want to see it. I'm excited. I thought it was great. I was like on the edge of my seat watching that show. I thought you would be. You didn't believe me. And I am a chest enthusiast. I, chest. Ah! Yeah. Chest! Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> Must be right around when that, you called that 268 or whatever chess you said. And I can play chess. You want to go? Oh, my God. You want to go. Babe, you talk the biggest. You know what? You said the same thing about air hockey. You won two games. And then what happened? You lost on how many continents? How many How many countries? How many times have you beat me at Connect Four? None. Nobody, Zero. Who plays Connect Nada. Four? Nada. I'm the queen. I'm the queen's gambit. You're the queen of something. <laughs> Mike Frucci said I had never heard of him till that day. Oh, all right. Yeah, I don't know who he is. I, I, it actually was not what I thought it was. What do you think it was? I don't know. I thought it was some movie about some sort of a... Oh, uh, with a girl... Like a football movie or something. Oh, Bobby Fisher sounds like Joey Fisher. No, I didn't think that. Was it Joey Fisher? Remember that whole thing? With the girlfriend? Yeah. What was her name? Draco said, I myself am also a chest enthusiast. <laughs> yes, I am also. <laughs> Bachelor number one. That's so funny. What do you do? Bob, I also am Bob a chest McLaren enthusiast. Bob raising his hand. He says, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I don't know. I was looking at your chest, and that's all I could think about at that moment. And I was like, right. I'm a chest enthusiast. Yeah. You know that's my favorite part on you. Okay. I love it. How broad, moving on. How broad you yeah, are. Moving on. The broad Other chest. Subjects. Mike yeah. Frucci said, Draco, yes, sir, I am too. All righty, let's see. So you are doing, this must be the werewolf. Why a redhead? Because that's what he is. Huh. Interesting. He, like I told you, when I first looked at him, he looked like a lion to me, remember? Well. The coloring? Sure. These are lion colors. This is not werewolf colors. What what color is a werewolf? Brown or gray or He's brown. But why the red? Cuz his hair is red. He's a man that turns into a wolf. He's a werewolf ginger. That's what he is. Yeah. He's a ginger wolf. <laughs> he, is, he apparently is a ginger wolf. Ginge. Um, Kevin Johnson said, I also like backgammon. I love backgammon as well. Oh, here we go. I'm good at that too. Are you? Bring it on. Oh, Do you even know how to play? You're great at everything. You know I am to good play at things. all those games. You don't know. I am digging this one though. I mean, for, for somebody who wasn't necessarily a fan of the show, perhaps I do like what you're doing here. Thanks. I like what you're putting down. <laughs> oh my Thanks, goodness! Keep stuff erased here. What are you erasing? I said we keep getting things erased. Oh. Guys, I'm just looking at the website right now, and again, loving it. Um, looking at the stickers, we did order some more stickers. We did do that, and we have them available, but they are not part of a sticker pack yet. We're going to come up with a couple more. Johnny's got a thousand designs that are sticker ready. We just need to pull the trigger on. So we're looking forward to those stickers. I think everybody really enjoys. They're, they're just so versatile. They can everybody go anywhere. Stickers. Put them on a car. You can put them on a toolbox. 
Um, we've got our lockers. In fact, I'm thinking about maybe putting some stickers on these lockers too. Sure. Just so we have a, a remnant, if you will. Um, but the two sticker packs we have are pretty popular. Um, the one sticker pack features all of the Johnny Jalopy and Ian Russell collaborations. What's, the, what's that? What do you mean? Full custom garage. Yes. What happened? The collab. You designed these cool cars, and Ian, with his skilled hand, built them. Huh. Built them. No, no. I know. We've got the Funky Futura. If they were Ventura. only on television, that'd be the really We've cool We've got the thing. Johnny 5 that started it all. Where you could get, like, see them and stuff, you know? Space Junkie 2.0. They are. Wouldn't they are that on... be cool if you could, like, watch them? They're on Full Custom Garage. Can you imagine if you could just watch You it can just watch them. Pop an episode and watch it. Be a part of the action. Check it out. Uh, definitely going to be a link on the page to uh, Ian's page too, yeah. so that you can check it out. And then the three are three main designs that have always been really always. popular sellers: the Jalopy Army and the Eye Guy design. Both of those are shirts as well, and we have prints of those available as well. Always. And then of course the Johnny Jalopy logo sticker, which I love, which I came up with. The logo. Johnny designed it, but it was my vision. And you did come up with a logo. I love it. It looks amazing. We are sticking with it. Yep. We do so much with it. We do. We do. Um, we also have the hats, which have been another really cool deal for people. Guys are digging them. The girls Guys are digging dig them. them. Chicks dig them. We've got the, Guys the trucker dig hat. Them. Even little people on the street dig, dig them. them. Hey, dig them. <laughs> Grab you a Johnny hat. We have the original black and white trucker hat. There's Johnny is wearing one. Trucker. Let me zoom in hat, on dig Johnny. Em. There he is. There Grab he is. There he is. A hat and kind of smack dig them. I, of course, am wearing my beanie. The beanie. Love these beanies. Love them. I you wear them all them. year round. This has been actually um, a hat of choice. It's been the summer of beanies. It is the summer. Well, because I have the Jeep now, and when we go topless. Right. You're like, hey, what will make me sweat the most? I need to Let have throw... something covering my head. Let me throw a beanie on. And it's like, what? I had originally just put my hair up in a clip burned my head sunburn so i need some kind of protection and i have found when i wear the hats and i have the windows down sometimes because my head is so small and the hat doesn't fit as tight as i would like it to the wind gets up underneath of it and flips it off i almost lost it a couple oh, not times. adjustable they are adjustable i have Ooh. mine on the smallest adjusted thing oh uh... Because you're saying your my head is too you're small. Saying your brain is tiny. My head is too small. <laughs> so, in any case, I can wear the hat normally. I just can't wear it in the jeep because it flips off easy. So yeah, easy flipping jeeps. It is, yeah. But I love the hats, and we did just get new cinch sacks, new Johnny sacks. Oh, that's right. We need to get some of those going again. Make yes. maybe we gotta test them first. 15 bucks though for those um and i'm thinking i definitely want to test them we are going to what do we're gonna do a cinch sack spectacular oh boy <sighs> what's happening it's really starting to anger me we're oh, gonna we're gonna do a cinch sack johnny sack um bundle i think soon so be on the lookout for that. We're going to talk about it. We've already talked about it. We already have plans in the works. Um, but it's all going to center around the cinch sack, the Johnny sack. Hank said, it would be cool if you knew someone that could make cool videos about the cars that you helped design. It would be cool. Hank Hank is that person. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of yeah, that for us, super, especially. A lot of cool ones. Go check out the YouTube channel. Even if you've already checked out the website, Go see what yes. he's done over at YouTube. Because there's some cool. Uh, there's he's been cool, busy over there. Cool video just recently uh, released of a little compilation, if you will, of the adventures of the Space Junkie. Yes. 2.0. Yeah, that was a really neat compilation. So check that out. That's a good one. 
Um, Kevin Johnson is got to go getting his sleep. Important part of weight loss. We'll watch the rest of tomorrow. No problem. We are wrapping Good night. Right love now. you all. We love you, Kevin. Take care. He said the groovy ghoulie sketch is killer. He's long. Thanks. He's digging it. Draco said, I like topless also. <laughs> Mike Frucci said, sectacular. It's sectacular. <laughs> Paul Marziani said, looks great. Good night, all. He's got to tap Aww. out. We're losing him. We're losing him. We're again. losing him, Johnny. Right now. We're losing him. We're just finishing. I know we are. Um, so we definitely want to uh, roll that out soon. But love the beanies. Love the hats. And um, again, just to refocus again in on Johnny's standard sketches is the name of the album on Facebook, on uh, the website just tons of stuff in here from over the years of just funny, silly creations in your head. And yeah, then just we some, had, we've had so much fun. Yeah. There's just been some really cool stuff. Like I'm looking right now, there's some bike stuff in here too. I don't even know. Cause he, he really doesn't draw bikes very often, but when you say bikes, what do you motorcycles, mean? Or... Motorcycles and bicycles. Okay. You do them both. Right. Um, so there's some cool bike stuff in here. So we'll God, sure there's a there's a gasser, there's a ton of truck stuff in here, there's monster stuff in here. He's explaining, he's explaining it. You've got this one is cool. This one's called Ripping It Up. Ripping it up. And it's a top view design yeah. of a car, which you never do this. It's a phone. That's what Yeah, it, it looks so cool. There's a ton of uh, Volkswagen stuff on here. Um, this skate dude is super cool. Love this print. Love this print. Guys, go peruse through. I mean, if anything, while you're on the toilet, everybody's looking for something to breeze through. Take a look Take at Johnny. Think about hey, when us you're there, Cooper, when you're <laughs> when you're dropping the deuce. Uh, oh my god. Make us your noose. Um, Draco said, not me. I got nothing but time. I'm here for the finish. Boom, sir. Took him forever to be able to <laughs> wait us out, right? <laughs> yep. And now he's now he's he's in. Yeah, Johnny is just putting up the putting up, putting on the finishing touches here with this one. But yeah, this is super cool. Really came out cute. Like, how cool would it be for somebody to see this that's doing a new cartoon? And they're like, hey, we want you to be. Now you're just being silly. Our designer. Why? Why would that be silly? Look at how cool this is. I love it. By the way, we just got asked to be in a magazine. You did? Yeah. I don't want to give up the uh, magazine yet until the article is in it because that would be kind of spoiling. Right. But uh, yeah, so we got to work on that. Just okay. to give you a heads up. There's been there's been a couple. It's a uh, publications yeah, actually that you've been in. About it. Yeah. So it's, it's one I've been really wanting to wish I could get into, and they finally contacted me, so I'm so excited. Very cool. So you've been on TV. You've had. Um, interviews. You've been on radios. You've been on. I've been podcasts. On, I've been on. Mueller. <laughs> and that you've been in magazines, you've been in publications. Publication. Getting around, guys. All thanks We're to your help and support getting as well. Getting, getting the name out there. Trying to stay relevant. That's what we're doing the Monday nights for so we can stay in the game, guys, and be producing some cool stuff for you to look at every week. And this isn't easy. I mean, you all know this. If you've followed us for any length of time, you know that this is not our full-time gig. Um, I really have nothing to do with anything other than what I'm doing right now. Um, but Johnny works full-time. He sketches while he's, while he's at work on his lunch breaks to, yeah. and it does some stuff there. But Monday nights, he is prepping from the moment he walks in the door until we sit down here, he is prepping thinking through design stuff he wants to do, thinking through things in his head, looking at reference photos, um, whatever it takes to be able to put out a quality product on Monday nights. You want to make sure that your sketchy live viewing time and, and your experience is 
really cool when you get excited about it and you go, yeah, hey, I could do that. How fun. Yeah, to be inspiring, to be educational. I think we we provide we some try. good data. Yeah, we try. we, we try. provide some good data and opinions. I love our discussions. We got the data in. Data's been tested. Not all it's of pretty, it. Pretty legit. <laughs> pretty legit. Not all of our data is tested. <laughs> Dentist approved. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie said, this is so awesome. Draco said, you're the talker. Yes, I am. I am. I get a little for clumps sometimes. Well, it's all good, uh, um, when when people are commenting and I have something to react to, much easier. I yeah, will tell you that. You're telling you it's a little struggle today, huh? No, not really. I think some of them. It's just you no. Know, they're I think they're watching. They're just busy watching what you're doing here. Okay. Did you give this thing a yellow tooth? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Little ginge for the ginge, huh? <laughs> a little gingivitis for the ginger. Gingivitis. <laughs> gingivitis for the ginger werewolf. Uh, Mike Fruji said, You guys rock. We love hanging out with yous. We appreciate it. Yeah. Still 11, 11 viewers okay. hanging in. I mean, we're, 11 we're, people, we're hey. almost at an hour and a half Listen, at this point. Nothing like, you know. Can't always, you can't always be. This show is longer than like a dynasty or a knot's landing. You can't, uh, you can't always be you know, the hundreds of views that we get, but you know, we'll, we'll take it. Now, uh, Draco said the entertainment value is well worth every penny. Well, we appreciate it. Wow. Do you get what he said? Yeah. yeah. It's free. It's free. So it's not worth much. It's not really free, though. People are taking their time, free. and their time is not free. They're choosing their free time to okay. spend with us. Okay. So there's that. So there's okay. that. Okay. It's not free. Spud Anderson said, hey, guys, I just got home. Happy Monday. Hey, okay, happy Monday. Welcome, Pastor Spud. We are hoping What's everything's up? going well with you. Brethren. Brethren. <laughs> he is. I know. They're all. All That's of you I are brethren. That's what I just said. Why do you think yeah. to say it? I love it. You know what? Are you calling it? No, we got to oh. add, add a little something, something. What? Your little purple. All right, let me zoom back in, guys. I zoomed out because I thought we were finishing it up here, but he's got some extra deets to put in. Only his mind's eyes see these things. Draco said, my time is very valuable-ish. <laughs> <laughs> I know our time is very valuable. We don't get a lot of free time, so... For us, this is truly an investment for our business, for our friendships with you, for the connections that we make. Yeah. It, it all means something at the end of the day. There's many times where, you know, we may be tired. We may not have um, an idea. The the vision. <laughs> we may not yeah. have. Uh, that happens all the time. Yeah. May not have the oomph. We may not have anything to talk about. The gumption. Half the time we're at each other's throats right before we hit usually, the live yes, button. Yes, usually <laughs> Eddie is arguing with me, trying to fight with me to really get me off my game. And you would never know it. No, you'd never know. You would never know it. You would never know. totally just called you out on it. So, so yeah. there's that. There's that. But every Monday night, not every. You know, we pull Most it Monday nights. We make it flawless. Yeah, we try to make it fun. We try to show you, like, hey, this is, uh, you know, it doesn't always have to be an argument with your, your significant other. <laughs> um, Draco said, I come mainly for the chess talk. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, we'll have to make sure we bring it up again next week. The chest. All right, so Johnny is just putting in... Powell, Howell year. <laughs> Instead of good year, it should have been ghoul year. Nah, too obvious. No, it isn't. Yeah, we'll wait. Like well, what else would have been a witty one? Instead of Craigers, you could have done Crypters. Ghoul year. Thanks for ghoul. G H. G H. O U L. But you have to make your G better. Yeah. Ghoul year. Yep. Cool. Cool. Too Love cool it. for school. Right? Looks great. 
10 viewers, 10 viewers still hanging in, hanging in. Ooh, do you hear that ghoul in the background? A little squeaking Squeakage. of the door. <laughs> Spooky. We have visitors. Oh, Draco said, hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to put first. Hell yeah. Quite spooky. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Another Johnny Jalopy design. This is, and somebody said earlier, hey, just do something out of your head. This is out of his head. This is a something you saw and said, how can I make that cooler? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and he did. There you go. There is the groovy ghoulies. Let's Guys. Let's logo this bad boy up. Fantastic. So have the log. Logo motion. Logo on. Yeah, logo motion. Come on. Get it? Yeah. Logo motion. I got it. <laughs> It's on a giant stretch. <laughs> it is. Jeez. Draco said it's officially <laughs> past <laughs> 11. Yeah, Draco, we, we specifically went long because we knew you'd want us to. And I said, we're going to go long. We're going to do it. Guys, how Look much fun? What I can do. How much fun for this one, huh? 20 bucks. Right. These these Monday night drawings are a steal. It's a steal. It is. You just saw it happen. You saw it happen. You were part of the action. This would this would make a great gift for anybody. Anybody who grew up around this time. Anybody who grew up around this time and who and who knew who this was, or kids. Kids would think that this was super cool. So much fun. Off the chain pick. Lizzie said. Draco says awesome. Ah. We have 41 likes and loves on this one already. Again, hour and a half broadcast so far. Um, Hank said coloring sheet, question mark. We've got to go back through all of these. We and, always end up sheeting the bed on that. I know. <laughs> but it would be it would be great to have some fun, especially these cartoon ones sure. that kids could go back and color. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a possibility, Hank. I know you've been talking to us about it for years. And uh, we haven't done anything with that part of it yet, but it's definitely in our brains, something we're thinking about doing. Oops, almost just knocked down our whole display. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. disaster. All right. And he's still going. A couple little extras here. All righty. There it is. Are you calling man. it? He's calling it. There's your groovy ghoulies. Boom. Guys. The wolf wagon. How fun. So let's go back real fast. Yes. If we can. Yeah. Let's look at it. Maybe. We'll get her Did up. you already save this one? You want to make sure this one's saved. It's saved. Okay. Save it up. All right, so there's what the original Ghoulie Groovy Ghoulie Groovy Ghoulie wagon, uh, Wolf Wagon look like. There is our starting point, and here is our finish. Oh my goodness, what a transformation. So the engine alone on this thing that. <laughs> makes there's it that. so much bigger, so much more happening. There it is, Groovy Ghoulies. Insane, yeah, guys. Yeah. Again, likes and loves if you're digging this one. We sure had fun. Yeah, that was a good time. So there you go. Another Monday night in the books. In the books. Had so much fun doing this one. That was like that was fun. I got sorry, kind of got a little quiet there, got in the zone a little bit. I was that always ends up happening. It does. Like, I can't help it. I was just you when you're really focused in. Just wanted to make sure it looked cool. I think I, I think everybody got nailed in there. I think the uh the car definitely looks cartoony. Yeah. Definitely cartoony. And definitely different than uh, the, original, the original, but a nod to the original, which is cool. So Absolutely. There's your Groovy Ghoulies, Wolfie's Wagon, tonight on Sketchable. Hey, if you're watching us on YouTube, we sure appreciate you stopping by. And if you like what you see today, please make a comment, like, love, subscribe, tell your friends. And, of course, Johnny's Lobby merch, johnnyslobby.com, hats, stickers, shirts, 
more items to come, more content to come your way. And I had had a ticker um, that does not look like it's displaying, but I did want to point out that Johnny is a true sketchable yes. artisan. So this art, art through, tonight was, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Through the sketchable app. Yeah. So this art tonight was drawn and designed and created on the sketchable app. I love this app. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's easy to use. So uh, head over to sketchable. If you've got, Android product, or if, uh, I'm not sure if they're Apple based yet, but I uh, pretty know that for sure it's Android or a Microsoft uh, based product. Super fun. And uh, of course, we're on the Surface Book uh, 3, which I heard is no longer available anymore. Mm. So it's a bummer. Wah, wah. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go a different platform there, but that's okay. We move on, we move, and we grow, we get fit, we learn, we do all kinds of stuff. Hank says, Who's going to be the first person that copies this? That <laughs> Hank said it first, so keep your eyes out to see, because I haven't seen it on the radar at all. No. So it'll be very interesting to see how many groovy ghoulies or keep groovy come popping up type stuff, which yeah. is great. Hey, it's all about inspiration. If you had fun drawing this uh, or watching this tonight, feel free to watch it. Draw along with it. Let's see your creations of some groovy ghoulie stuff. Please share it to our page. We'd love to see it. Yeah. We'd love to see your art. If you're learning or you're starting to get inspired, you're starting to get back into art, you have questions, anything. Feel free to comment. Feel free to contact me. JohnJalepi.com has all my information uh, to answer questions. ADB is available to answer questions. And if you have ideas on stuff. Absolutely. Um, because we, we get brain locks sometimes. And, you know, yeah. and uh, listen, I'm block. so appreciative of people that are throwing things on my page and sharing things and you know, uh, what it was that where they're commenting and they're uh, mentioning me in a, in a post. Hey, look at this, Johnny. Like today, somebody sent me a picture of a couple of Jeeps uh, with a tire on top of a tire. And there was a 64 Impala that had lifted itself up and set itself oh. on top of me. I'm like <laughs> the best of both worlds. That was so cool. So I love seeing that kind of stuff. Love when you guys share and interact with us. It is the best. Yeah. So we are so appreciative of you. We hope to see you again this coming Monday live on Facebook. Uh, and very, very soon we will be going live, not only on Facebook, but multiple platforms to make it even easier for you to get your Johnny Gillespie content. So once again, uh, I am Johnny Gillespie, my best of best of the best of best, Itty B, and we will see you guys again very, very soon. Take it easy. And Stay 